Alpha. Other than the camera, there are three things you'll always find in my bag. A badminton racket, a drone, and a scuba diving mask. My name is Baptiste, but everybody calls me Bab. I've been working in the media and creative industry for close to 15 years, and I've been based in Malaysia for six years already. Joel and I opened our studio, F6 Studio, a bit more than a year ago, and we've been focusing on commercial videography and creative portraiture. Every project, every shoot brings its own set of challenges. Now, when we shoot food or product, we always make sure of at least three things. First, that we shoot at the highest resolution possible, so we have freedom in post, both in terms of cropping and speed. Second is that we always make sure that everything we capture is as sharp as possible, regardless of the lighting conditions. And last, that every video that we shoot is as stable as possible, so we don't have to fix it in post. Gears come and go, and we've got a lot of them in the studio. But the Alpha 7 Mark IV has always been a constant. It's a very versatile camera, and we use it a lot. Most of the projects that we tackle include both photos and videos, and having the ability to switch from one mode to the other without any concern on the quality of the output is just great. Lately, we've been shooting lots of Malaysian athletes, and today we're super happy to have an Olympian in the studio with us. Having a stable shot right from the camera saves a lot of time in post, and this is where the active mode helps a lot. On top of that, knowing that we can rely on the five axis in-body image stabilization whenever we're shooting handheld makes a huge difference. When it comes to resolution and frame rates, like a lot of you, we use 4K 60 frames per second, so we can capture those beautiful B-rolls and slow them down in post. Another feature we use a lot, especially when we do not have access to an external monitor, is the focus map. We always cross-check or focus with it before hitting the record button. And if that's something that you haven't used before, I strongly recommend it.